The gator chomp, baby. The gator chomp, baby. Oh, Billy Boyd and got him a win. Oh, son, back Billy and beat Brian Kelly. <laughs> Brian Kelly and lost to Sun Belt Billy, the savior of LSU football. The lost to Sun Belt Billy. And those Florida Gators, man, them, them Florida Gators, they were down and out, man. Boy, I'm telling you, Florida AD, man, they, they president gave Billy, Billy Napier this big ass raise, and he came out last week. Right after he got the raise and got his ass molly wop, but he made up for it tonight by beating those LSU titles by double digits. I might hit that. LSU was supposed to be a championship contender this year, a playoff contender this year. But I told y'all, I told y'all that defense wasn't gonna be that much better than last season. Now it was been times in the season that LSU defense has surprised me and has impressed me. But in the long run, OKB was right. That damn defense ain't that much better than last season. I told him I don't give a damn who you hire. I told him. My Alabama Crystal Tide went up to Baton Rouge, Louisiana last week, Del Valley, and, and shut the whole daggone place down. Shut Baton Rouge down. And those daggone LSU Tigers thought they was going to come in to dag on the swamp and go gator hunting. Well, they came in the swamp and got their ass tore up. That's what they did. That's what they did. Them gators tore their ass out the damn frame. Mm, 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 mm. Garrett Nussmeyer, he couldn't stand up today. This fool got sacked seven times. That should let you know how garbage that offensive line is. My Alabama Crystal Tide sacked them five times last week and then Billy Napier and his offensive line said, hold my beer. I'm going to get his ass seven times. Mm, 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 mm. And on top of that, them Gators won by double digits. It only had the ball 18 damn minutes. <laughs> 18 minutes out of a daggone 60-minute game while LSU got the ball damn near 42 minutes. Are you freaking serious? And they still couldn't win. They still lose by double digits. To a what? A four and five team. A four and five team. Now, now them Gators five and five, baby. The Gator Chomp, baby. Old Sun Belt Billy. I tell you what. I tell you what. No more daggone gumbo. No more dirty rice. No more boudin. No more fried Gators. No more roasted Gators. Barbecue Gators. Because them Gators. Whoop that ass tonight. Lord have him. Brian Kelly? Brian Kelly? The, the coach that was supposed to resurrect LSU football? That, this Brian Kelly? Well, I tell you what. LSU fans, it would behoove you. It would behoove you at this moment to do everything you can to try to get Brian Kelly up out of Baton Rouge. You better do whatever you can. Cause he, <laughs> y'all would have been better keeping Coach O. You would have been better keeping Coach O. Y'all, man, come on, man. Lord have mercy. Brian Kelly thought when he got to the SEC that he was going to become a, 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 a great head coach. I'll just say that. He thought he, the SEC was going to make him a great head coach. Well, guess what? The SEC and those LSU Tigers making him exactly what he always was. A mediocre head damn coach. A mediocre head coach. He was just at Notre Dame. That's all. He was just at Notre Dame. But here in the SEC, it's a whole lot different, Mr. Brian Kelly. And I said it one time, I said it two times, I said it three times, and I'm going to say it again. When you came to the SEC your first year and you beat my Alabama Crystal Tide, you thought you was on to something. But my Alabama Crystal Tide and everybody else in the SEC is proving you wrong. Mm, 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 mm. Just last week, coming into the game, Against my Alabama Crimson Tide, you only had two losses. Well, guess what? You got four now. <laughs> you had these talking heads on the TV talking about y'all still had a chance to make it to the playoff. Well, that shit is done. 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 Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. 
just play for pride. Now. You better hope that your seniors or your decent players don't sit the rest of the season out and get ready for the NFL. That's what you better hope that don't, won't happen. But I tell you what, you keep playing like this at the end of the season, Mr. LSU Tiger, or your next two games, I tell you what, you're going to have some damn transfer. I'm going to tell you right now. You got LA, you got Vandy, who they, they decent, and you got Oklahoma. You might beat Oklahoma. I don't know. I thought coming in this game you were going to manhandle LSU. I mean, uh, manhandle Florida. But you proved me wrong on that. I mean, Brian Kelly, come on, man. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. A shame. And I told y'all, LSU fans, about your damn quarterback before the season even started, Gary Nushenmeyer, and I told you he wasn't no damn Jaden Daniels. I told you he like a damn statue standing back there. I told y'all he was a daggone pocket quarterback. Mm, 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 mm. He can escape every now and then. But I'm going to tell you like this. Gary Nussmeyer is a he is a Timu, a wish version of A.J. McCarron. That's what he is, a Timu, a Timu version of A.J. McCarron. He ain't even a Sheehan version. <laughs> That's what y'all quarterback is, Garrett Neusmeyer. I shouldn't even put his name in the same sentence as A.J. McCarron because you know what? A.J. McCarron, even though he won that mobile, he knew not to stand there back there and take all these damn sacks. He knew to throw the ball away. But I guess, I guess these daggone defensive linemen and linebackers be on his ass so quick that he, he ain't get, got time to do nothing. Boy, y'all got a garbage ass offensive line. Lord have mercy. Garbage offensive line, garbage defense. You got decent wide receivers, but you got a daggone, basically, a bomb as a quarterback trying to get them the ball. Mm, 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 mm. Brian Kelly, just like you did last, you better do some firing this season too. I'm soon as the daggone season is over. You better start doing some firing. Matter of fact, the AD and the president need to fire your ass. But maybe they in the end with you too much damn money. You know, they might have to pay you too much damn money. I mean, you know, I'm not calling for your job. I don't mind them keeping you. I like you, Brian Kelly. Shit, every opponent. Or every team in the SEC, trust me, Brian Kelly, they want LSU to keep you. But it is in LSU's best interest to show your ass the door. That's fact. Because you are not a SEC head coach. And I can't wait to hear your excuse. I just can't wait to hear this excuse of what you got to say. Is you going to blame the players again? Hey. It is what it is. I don't even know if old Nushmar throw an interception today. Did old Garrett Newton? <laughs> no, he didn't throw no interception. But guess what? You still lost the turnover battle. You had one, one fumble. But hey, it is what it is. I just can't believe that Florida won by double digits and only had the ball for 18 damn minutes. I mean, <laughs> they fool had the ball 18 minutes and put up 339 yards, 226 passes, 113 rushing. 7.9 yards per play. Basically, 8 yards a play on this LSU defense that's supposed to be a lot better in 2024 than 2023. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Boy, boy, boy. Congratulations to Billy Napier and, and, the, and the old Florida Gators, man. Congratulations. I tell you what, LSU Tigers and Billy, I mean, uh, 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 Brian Kelly, I bet you'll think twice. About coming to the damn swamp thinking you was going to get an easy damn win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Thinking you're going to come down there and drain the swamp. <laughs> God, them gators ate your ass up, baby. Them gators ate your ass up. I love every damn minute of it. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Oh, man. DJ, DJ Lagway, I told y'all that dude will make a difference in the game. This looked like a whole another Florida offense. Man, Florida had a whole two, two dumpsters as quarterbacks. They had two dumpsters they was they put in the game since DJ Lagway went out. Damn sure did. Now they got DJ Lagway out. 
Look like a whole, uh, they got DJ Lagway back. They got a whole different de offense. It looked brand spanking new. Totally different. DJ Lagway, 226 yards and uh, one touchdown. He ain't hit but 50% of his passes. But, hey, that was good or damn no. That was good or damn no. Ru two rushing touchdowns. Two rushing touchdowns. Boy, I love it, I love it, I love it. DJ Lagway. He had him a passing touchdown too. Boy, I love it. I love it when LSU you get the ass beat. You got your ass beat last week by my Alabama Crimson Tide. You got your ass beat, beat this week by uh by uh these Gators, man. And guess what? Guess what? I wouldn't doubt it if you get your ass beat next week by Vandy. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Cause your defense sucked. <laughs> I sacked his ass seven. Times, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven times they laid Gary Nushmar on his ass. And Brian Kelly, just like always, looked lost as hell. I know he's saying to himself, shit, I should have stayed at fucking Notre Dame. Hell, but by now they probably would have got rid of your ass. I don't give a damn that you were the winningest coach at Notre Dame. Matter of fact, you the winningest coach. In the FB, FR, in the FBS right now, Brian Kelly. But guess what? You even took two L's in a row. I know that. I do know that. But hell, Brian Kelly, do like you did last week. Go back to the drawing board and draw up another garbage-ass game plan. Because that's what you did. My Alabama Chris Todd got you where you can't even think right. That's what that is. That's what that is. They done broke you. Broke. Broke those LSU Tigers. That's what my Alabama Crimson Tide did last week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or is it maybe that us Alabama fans, we putting too much stock into that LSU win? Maybe, maybe you weren't really good anyway. You know what I'm saying? Probably not that good anyway. I think that's what that was. I think that's what that was. But hey, it is what it is. I don't know how in the hell y'all beat old me. I don't. But hey, you got your head beat the last two weeks. In the in the in the best part about it, you got your ass beat by them Florida Gales. A four and five team, which is now five and five, thanks to you. Uh Brian Kelly. Thanks to you. But hey. It is what it is. It be that way sometime. LSU, like I said, never was, never will be. <laughs> but if some of you LSU fans want to come join KB and jump on my Alabama Crimson Tide bandwagon, you are welcome. We'll make you feel like a one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. These fools done got beat by these Florida Gators and Billy Damn Napier. <laughs> the Gator Chunk, baby. The Gator Chunk. <laughs>